Hey guys, it's Jordan here. I just thought that I would send you a video update because I'm too lazy to type and describe everything that's new to you guys. So, um, we're here in Blenheim, New Zealand, and the job that we got is managing this place right here called Copper Beach Backpackers. Um, we work here for, oh, well, we've been here for about two and a half weeks now. This place holds about 60 people when it's full. Uh, we get paid $500 a week plus accommodation to be here. So here, I'll just take you inside. Right inside the front door here, you can see lots of gumboots and things because most of the people that are here work full time at the vineyards and things around. Okay, here's the front entryway. So, to our right, we have the main kitchen and stuff that we have to clean. It's actually a pretty nice spacious place, but it gets absolutely packed in here past about 5 o'clock. People are in here making food till about mm, 10 at night. And this is the main living room. People like to hang out. We have fires. We need it because it's starting to get a little bit cold here. And here are the last two rooms in this wing of the house. This is Japan room and France room. They are, all of the rooms here are marked with different flags because lots of hostels have themes. Here's South Korea, of course, which is a six bed dorm. And as we go down this way, this is our little office where we get to sit and look somewhat official even though we can't do electronic transactions or anything like that. We have to do it all on pen and paper. And this is the list of people that are currently staying here in all of the different rooms. You can see we've got France as a four bed dorm, then we have Japan, which is a double, South Korea, six bed dorm, Chile, four bed dorm, the cottage out by where we live because it's a bit of a duplex. Some people get to stay out in the niceness out there. And uh, yeah, you can see the rest of them. The biggest room, of course, is the Canada room, which is nice and clean and open right now, even though it can get pretty gross when it's stuffed full of eight people that are working here full time. Their stuff is everywhere and it's smelly and gross. But uh, yeah, moving on. Here's the computers that everybody uses. You have to pay $2 for 35 minutes of internet, which is actually a really good rate here. Sometimes it goes up to about eight or $9 an hour can be, get pretty rough. So moving on, here we are, this Argentina room, Germany room, we have UK, Taiwan, a couple of public bathrooms, that goes out to the veranda, I'll show you that in a second, another public bathroom and shower, I'll show you Canada room. So this is our large dorm room. Holds eight people and there's actually some daylight in here. People tend to block the curtains shut when they're working here full time. Anybody in here? No. And this is one of the main baths that we have to clean. We do the bathrooms and kitchen every morning. We vacuum every second day and as people check out or leave, which you can see some people are done here, we have to change all of the linen. So that takes up a little bit of our day doing laundry and stuff, but we can still usually get it all done by noon. And so yeah, as we come across here, coming out through the veranda, where people like to hang out and stuff like that. Yosh, say hi to the folks back home. Hi. <laughs> uh, people like to sit out here, have a beer, have a smoke, relax whenever they're not working. And so this is our backyard where we've got the shed, the after hours hangout spot where people can play ping pong, have even more beers, and uh, there's a punching bag and weights and a couple other things in there just to keep people entertained. And this here is the cottage. This is our place. Now this to me is what makes this whole place worthwhile is that our accommodation here is paid as long as we're working. So I'll take you inside. So here we are, the new digs. And Courtney being lazy, reading a book because we're fortunate enough that that can be done later on in the day after we're done all of our cleaning duties. I'm not lazy. No, she's actually probably five times the cleaner that I am. I'm pretty slow and stuff like that, so she gets to be more guilt-free about her downtime than I do. But uh, yeah, here's the living room and our little computer desk that 
has the uh, surveillance equipment for all of the cameras throughout the hostel. You can see all of the big black cords coming in there from the ceiling for all the video feeds. And uh, yeah, we basically can creep on anybody in the hostel from here. <laughs> um, but uh, the computer is very slow, almost useless, because it's trying to process all of that at the same time. And I don't know if you can hear that high-pitched whining noise, but that goes day and night, 24-7. We have to learn to live with it. <laughs> it kind of sucks. And here's the bathroom, which Courtney has just made spotless because she's awesome. Uh, <laughs> and we lined the windowsill with a bunch of shells that we found while we were kayaking around Abel Tasman. This guy right here is our favorite. He's cool. Anyways, going along. Do, 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 do. The lazy boys are kind of nice. Da, da, da. This door here actually goes into that twin next door that I told you about, the other cottage room, but I'm not going to go in there. Et voila! Our kitchen comes complete with the world's weakest microwave and the world's crappiest mini oven ever. It takes 10 minutes to boil a pot of water, if not more. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Bring it back out into the living room here. Courtney's being shy because she doesn't feel she's all pretty and stuff. Anyways, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, oh, so I'll show drawing? you guys around another time.